What's up everyone, Safetown here. Welcome back to another video. Today you can see we're opening up a 2022-23 Series 2 10. I'm really excited for this. I'm not usually into Series 2, but I love the possibility of getting the uh, rookie jersey cards. I just love them. And you can only get them out of Series 2, along with some other uh, Young Guns that weren't in Series 1. So there's some other top Young Guns in this as well. So we're going to be opening up this tin here. Now there is, uh, let's see here, 8 packs in the tin. 8 cards per pack, and there's one bonus pack as well. And it looks like an OPG glossy 3 card rookie pack. So that's pretty cool that they still do that. Let's open up the tin here. Let's see what we have. So up first we do have the Gloss Opeachy Rookies. And then we do have the cards here. Let's kind of put it like that. Let's start off with the Opeachy pack. So Thomas Brodo, Jack Quinn, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name because I always mispronounce it, but if you guys can see, it's a little difference of color for the border, so I'm not sure if this is more of the uh, rarer one. I'm not sure if it, this is like a gold and the others are bronze doesn't really say but that's still really cool to get so now let's get into the packs so there's only eight packs in here this was only I believe $25 uh, at my local card shop so the cards look exactly like series one for the base cards at least let's just go through we did get a checklist Starting to stick together. Uh, Lucas John Hansen, Johansson, Young Guns. The rest are base. This one feels thicker, but they probably have dummy cards or something inside. So let's see here. I see something. I don't know if that's it or not. Oh, we did get a lunch lunchbox Legends of Adam Fox. So that's cool, I didn't even know about those ones, those inserts. Rest are all base. We did get an orange Dazzler for Jake Christian. I probably butchered that. But I think the orange Dazzlers are exclusive to the tins, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I feel a canvas here. It's sticking. Uh, we did get Dawson Mercer Upper Deck Canvas. Trying to let it focus there. The rest seem to be all base. So that is halfway there. We do have four more of the packs. Ooh, we did get a Burners for Calder. Matty Burners. Uh, Seattle Kraken. This is actually really cool. Not sure what this card goes for, but I like getting any Kraken cards. And that one is a really cool uh, and special card. Next pack here. Oh, another Young Guns for Oli Luxel. So, so far only two Young Guns in this here. So more on the lower side. And no rookie jersey card yet. Hopefully we do get one. I like getting lucky. Oh, we did get instant impressions for Krill Kippersoff. I didn't even know about those inserts. That's actually really cool. Instant impressions. It's like a old school Polaroid uh, photo. Looks really cool. And we do have the final pack here. So 
Superstar on a roll for Riley Welsh or Walsh. And the rest are all base. So for I want to say under thirty dollars is what the tin was. I round you know twenty to thirty dollars is what I paid. We have one canvas card. We do have the Calder uh, cup here, which looks amazing. Instant impressions. The lunchbox, orange dazzler, which is exclusive to the tins. We did get two young guns and an honor roll. And of course, we did get these packs here. So comment down below what you guys thought. I was really looking forward to a rookie jersey card, but obviously we didn't get it this time. Should I open this product again in the future and try to hunt for one of those rookie jersey cards? Or should I move on to one of the next product projects or packs that I'm interested in? The next thing we're going to be opening up on the channel very soon is going to be a hobby box for 2023-24, which they reconfigured the whole layout for the first time in like 20 years. So I'm really excited for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.